you know, I know that we don't talk much about basketball because our viewers really, nobody really wants to watch basketball stuff for Clemson. <laughs> I know we're not Duke. I know we're not UNC. So I'm going to run through this real quick. November schedule for the Clemson men's basketball team. Virginia Tech was the first game of the season, November 5th. At home, they lost. It was a tough game. Their starting point guard for Virginia Tech scored like 30-something points on us, which I think he's a really good guy, and he's going to probably score 30 on a lot of people. But it was a first loss. It was a big game, first loss, completely restructured Clemson team and Virginia Tech team, but Virginia Tech came away with the win. And it was really some things were shot in the foot for Clemson. Some some free throws were bad. Some three-point shooting got cold in the second half. So I believe that Clemson could have won that game. Uh, they just got kind of cold at the second half, which, yes, I know what you're going to tell me. Repeat of last year. I get it. I get it. But <laughs> – it's not really. This team is a lot different than last year. They turn around November 7th, Presbyterian, get a win. Our show wasn't on the air because of that game, but they get a win against that game. And then a Colgate team. People are saying, Colgate, what's the big deal with Colgate? Okay, Colgate was an NCAA tournament team. So they're a good team to play against, and uh, they're, no, they're no pushover for sure. And they actually had the lead in, late in the second half, but Clemson did what they needed to do, and they shot a lot better in that game. And then on November 17th, really just yesterday, they beat Detroit Mercy and uh, won that. So right now, looks like they're 3-1, and one, and they're going into the 21st of November, Alabama A&M. And I don't think that's going to be a problem. Alabama A&M doesn't have any wins. They have a very hard time scoring any points. I think that's going to be a win. So give Clemson 4-1. Four four and one. Now, then they travel to Las Vegas for a tournament. If they can win this tournament, it will be a redemption for losing to Virginia Tech. Because if they win a TCU game, the 24th, that is a tough team to beat. They are scoring 90 points a game right now mm-hmm. and just shooting lights out right now. So TCU is a really difficult game right before, or I, I, what is that, the week before Thanksgiving or the week of Thanksgiving, that Sunday. So TCU is a difficult team, but I think if they can get that win, I think they're – Tevin Max doing good. Hunter Tyson's got his shot on now. And John Newman is doing good. And Amir Sims is, you know, pretty consistent as well. This team, led by Tevin Mack, can can win some some close games this year. I, I believe in them. So they got to do it with TCU. If they win that game, then they go on to either play Wyoming or Colorado two days later. So they could potentially finish. Let's see. One, two, three. And then, so six and one going into December, which would be perfect for them because December is going to be tough too. Beginning of December, they got to, they got to go to Florida State. You know how playing at Florida State is. We never can seem to get a win at Florida State, and Florida State is a team that's on a high right now. They just beat Florida recently, a couple of days ago. So, but that's kind of a quick overview of Clemson basketball of this month. Any 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 thoughts from you, Al, before we quickly move on? <laughs> well, you know, I like when you're just giving out wins. I know you're giving us the Alabama AM game. And I appreciate that. I'll take any win I can get, especially if Morgan says it's a done deal. It's a done deal. And I'm just not going to worry about it anymore. Uh, I did want to talk real quick about this past game. You know, like you said, Hunter Tyson had a big, a big game against Detroit Mercy. Okay. And it's about time. We've been talking about Hunter, Hunter Tyson for quite a while now and how he's such a good shooter in practice. When are we going to start seeing it in games? Well, we saw it. Okay, the other night he did a great job. He had twenty. He had twenty points, I believe. Uh, he just hadn't really been able to get it going offensively. You know, I don't know if it's confidence. I don't know if he's just you know not a gamer. Or if he's just not getting consistent enough minutes. Whatever it was, it doesn't matter. Hopefully, he has found it, and now we can use that going forward as get him some confidence and kind of boost that, uh, so he can do better from behind the three point arc for sure. Because Clemson really needs that going forward to stretch the floor. Uh, Amir Sims, you had a good game with nineteen points. Uh, he had eight rebounds. He kind of showed the ability to be the leader that Clemson needs him to be. Uh, going forward, the, the leader we all thought he was going to be is the most experienced guy coming back for sure. Uh, Tevin Mack, like you said, continues to impress. Uh, he had 18 points. Uh, he's been doing rock solid since he got here. Uh, so that's a big puzzle piece that they were able to add in the offseason. You know, the young guards, uh, Dawes and Hunter, they need to continue to kind of adjust to the college game uh, and get more comfortable as scores. Obviously, you know, they kind of went in that huge drought in the second half of their Virginia Tech game, which we've already spoken about, uh, and kind of handed uh, Clemson his first tough loss. And unfortunately, it was an ACC loss as well. Uh, but they'll get more comfortable as they go along. Obviously, they're they're going to improve offensively and defensively. I think they've got the athletic system to hang in there defensively. Uh, but we need to get some more consistent scoring from the point guard position. All right, so that's it for the basketball overview. Check in with the Clemson men's basketball team. Maybe we should have Brad Brownell on to tell us about it. But 
maybe I'll maybe I'll get some uh, basketball expert to come talk about it. But uh, you know, uh, Randy said we need a Vernon Hamilton type player. You know, I think those two freshman guards are going to be the real deal when they can, like you said, get that consistency going, get that game experience. This team does not have a true center. They're not really a big team. They're going to live and die by that shooting. If they're off on the three-point, it's going to be a bad night. It's going to be tough for them to win, especially yeah. if they can't hit free throws. Um, it's going to be really tough. But um, like I said, this team, just because of the one loss, not in a bad position. Let's get some redemption versus TCU and keep rolling to December.